too many boxes i got a lot to unbox today what's up guys i'm suleiman you can see in front of me there are lots of uh boxes that i have to open today usually i'm not making any unboxing video i'm just opening the product using them extensively for some days uh, or some weeks then i will do my review but this time i thought to give it a try and do all in one unboxing of all these packages which i received and i will tell you guys about each of them and some short description and what each product has inside the box usually i'm not making any unboxing video all the time when i receive a product I am unboxing it off camera using it for some time then I'm making my review so anyways uh, there are lots of products which I received for this channel and thanks to all those guys who said all these products uh, this is my first unboxing video and I don't have a good proper knife that's why I got a small scissor but it will work first of all uh, let's try with maybe these these are some a small light uh, Sandmark, these are from Sandmark. Thanks to guys on Sandmark for sending me these lights. Uh, there are four lights, I think it's two different types. It's uh, called Pro Light Mini Bicolor, Pro Light Mini RGB. Yeah. So I have two bicolor in our two, two RGB. Uh, let's open these first, then we will start with others. This one is coming, it's nice packing, and it has a very small. LED light inside it It's very tiny and very small. Wow. This is I think the smallest light I have uh, Before that I had uh, let me show you guys This one This is uh, from pixel liver pocket video light uh, If you see my latest video, I talk about this one. It's amazing light also So this one was the smallest light I had and so you can see the difference. Let me take off the, the diffuser. It has a nice silicon diffuser. It has silicon diffuser. Okay. It is a cold shoe. It has one cold shoe adapter. It has a very nice small pouch which is marked with Sandmark action gear. A USB cable. That's it. I think I cannot turn it on because. I don't have any charge. I have to charge this first. Okay. Anyways, let me put it back. It's always good to have um, some uh, small portable, uh, like pocket size RGB light, especially when you travel a lot. So even inside studio, I'm using these lights a lot in my studio when I'm shooting any B-roll or any product uh, video for product commercial, or even for my YouTube videos, I'm using and uh, these small portable pocket led light they are so nice they are small they are compact and they have their own internal battery talking about the battery let's talk about the specification of this light the color temperature is from 1000 to 10,000 kelvin uh, the maximum brightness is uh, 600 lux at 0 0.5 meter a 1500 milliamp battery uh, 360 gram and the power is 90 watt for rgb for bicolor, the power is 8 watt. Sorry, the, for RGB, the power is 9 watt. And for RGB, the power is 8 watt. Bicolor has a from 3000 to 65000 uh, Kelvin color temperature. It has a CRI rating of 95 plus. Battery life at 100% brightness, 90 minutes. I mean, it's giving 3 hours of full brightness on full charge. It's 1500 milliamp battery and 86 gram I, let's open this one also it also has a very soft nice silicon diffuser almost the same size same four button on right side i might uh, make a full review about this light and uh, they also send me something else which is very interesting it's also sandmark universal mount adapter This is a nice mounting adapter. This is for laptops or monitor. It has a very nice and soft cushion here. You tie it with your to your monitor, and then it has a small ball head. You can mount the light on it. So the next product, uh, maybe we should open this one. This is 
from a field world. It's called Life Pro L1 V1. This is an amazing product. This can have a permanent place in my studio gear. Uh, I really like this. This is a multi camera video mixer. You can use it for YouTube for even making, or even uh, if you're a live streamer, if you're making video games or live streaming, this can add lots of uh, creativity to your YouTube channel. Packing list, this one switcher, 1.5 amp adapter, USB cable and manual, it means there's not much. This has a two inch TFT small uh, display, which is uh, an amazing. Uh, and it has four HDMI port, one HDMI out, a 12 volt DC in. On the side, there's a LAN port for Ethernet cable, USB, audio in, audio out. And there are four buttons. These buttons are to select uh, your uh, HDMI source. And this monitor is very helpful. I know it's very small, but it can be very useful to select uh, which camera do you want. When you speak cable, the user manual and okay, there's nothing else. There's an adapter. And this can be used in different scenarios. For me, especially in my YouTube studio, when I'm shooting multi-camera, I'm using uh, lots of monitor. If it's two camera, I'm using two uh, monitor right now. Like I have one another camera there here and one camera here and I have two monitors so with this I can use only one monitor because I can use its multi view option uh, anyways I will make a full review about this maybe some of these products if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet then um, consider subscribing it and press the bell notification in order to be notified when I post a review of these products and obviously your subscription will be highly appreciated. It's giving me more energy to make videos like this or a full uh, product review video. Oh, this one I know, oops, this one I know oh, what's inside this. I will keep this aside for a while. And uh, this one, I don't know what's this. Let's open this one. It's kind of arm support. It's giving support especially for your tripod, especially if you're using a slider. When you're using slider on a tripod, when the camera is moving, it's uh, shifting the weight to another side. So that's why this is a nice product. But I don't know how is the quality of this specific one. Okay, this is an extension rod. Then there is two clips. Um, like a clamp, you can add them on at one, one side. This is a very useful arm and it really helps you a lot in balancing your slider, especially if you don't have very strong uh, tripod for your slider. Even if you have a very strong uh, tripod for your slider, you definitely need one of these. This side, you can change the angle and there's a quarter inch screw you can put the side uh, beneath your tripod um, slider and you can clamp this portion to tripod leg so this way it's supporting so there are two so it can support on both sides a useful product Uh, let me put this down because it's really big then we will open this one and this one later first let's open these lights these are uh, amazing lights I really like them guys on uh, Ulanzi they sent it to me thanks to guys on Ulanzi for sending me three of these and I may give uh, some giveaways if you think uh, you might need one of these Write on the comments below and tell me the reason why you need this light. I will send it to you and I will pay for the shipment. No matter wherever you're living, I will send it to you. Okay, there's one user manual. 
a nice big 26 centimeter diffuse light we need that there's this is the base for holding the light it's heavy and at the bottom it has a very nice soft cushion so it can not slip and it will not damage any surface because this is metal this one rod this will go here okay and i think you can extend this length yeah okay that's good very uh, slim so you can use it uh, either way this side this side and there's one USB C adapter nothing else this is called the VGM K1 tabletop live light and the maximum height is 60 centimeter the minimum height is 30 centimeter so this is like 30 centimeter and this is 60 centimeter i am already using one of these because there's such a nice light if you can see there this is a nice light you can increase and decrease the intensity of light it's a nice light for product showcasing and it has three color it's bi color you can change the color temperature and it can be a good um, key light so there are three and uh, maybe i will give one or two giveaway so don't forget to write on the comments below why you need this light and then i will select uh, one random uh, commenter this this one. oh yeah it's we light and I have lots of lights I'm getting uh, too many lights I don't know why people are sending me lots of light but still thanks to guys on we light for sending me this uh, light it's 80 watt light so let's see uh, what's included. Let me put this big box here. The first thing, light itself. This is very lightweight. And uh, by the way, it has a very nice color. I like this color. There's nothing else. This is very small. This is not points mount. You will find it out. Power cord, one uh, remote control, one nice small remote control, and what's this? Okay, yeah, this is a uh, adapter to use, I think, uh, bone standard mount. And this carrying case, it's nice carrying case. It's always good to have a nice carrying case with the product because when you travel with your products they always save the product when they are in studio it's always good for uh, for for storage purposes okay this one another box it's a bed adapter okay this one uh, battery adapter it looked like this is for sony impaired batteries I think in case if you want, if you don't want to use it with with AC power, you can use these. And there are two holes. This can fit here. Let me fit it here. Here's a, a protector. But I didn't get any soft box with this. But obviously you can use it with soft box. So let's try it with battery to Sony NPF batteries. Slide in batteries. 
it has a nice display it's showing you which mood you are because this can be used as a in and out right now it's an out because lighting up the light in is uh, when you're charging it a very nice short code at the bottom there is also a usb port let's see if it's working oh yeah that's this is good and by the way because this reflector is very small i think it can be a nice spotlight this can be a nice spotlight Thanks to guys on We Light for sending me this nice cute little light. This is soft box. Yes, this is perfectly working. But it's plasticky. This portion, it's not very strong. I don't think it will hold like a very big soft box. So there is two options. You can use the adapter mounting port or you can use the light itself but I'm recommending the light uh, mounting port will be much better and stronger and this is with the softbox this can be very helpful especially when you're shooting outdoor if it's video or a photo so this is very portable uh, it also has very small, if you can see, very small uh, remote control. Uh, I might review some of them, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell notification in order to be notified when I upload these uh, review of these products. Let's open this one. I know what's inside this because this is the last box and it's very big. And I'm really excited about this. This can help me a lot. I will open it first, then you guys will see what's inside. Okay, there's one another box inside this one. Oops, nothing else. Okay, there's one more box one one another i know this is a softbox i'm not using this softbox now and this is this is 200 watt light so i have lots of lights in studio and even in my storage all of them are 150 or 80 watts this is First 200 watt and it's from GVM very nice packing and thanks to guys on GVM for sending me this awesome light a very nice carrying case this case is very nice it's very strong and it's very beautiful with GVM marking it's not cheap uh, bag one item a user manual the light oh this is not heavy i was wondering this might be very heavy because it's big and it's 200 watt because there's lots of cooling system and component but it's very light because the body is not full metal these black side they are plasticky and the rest they are metal this one is plastic this is metal, this is metal, that's why it's not very heavy, but it's good. A very long uh, power cord. And this is the power brick. There's one reflector. It's Boinsmoon reflector and a cap for protecting the light itself when you're not using it, it go like this 
Let's put this here. Let's try this light. Okay, first I have to bring a strong tripod. Always use a strong and good tripod, especially when you're using light. These are Monfoto 1052 BC. They're very strong and very nice, and you can uh, attach it, all of them together. If you have two or three or four or ten, so they have the option to clip with each other. During this video, if you're getting very weird noises, I'm really sorry because it has been three days that I was waiting because the neighbors, they have some construction in their office. So I wait three days. I wait three days, but they didn't stop. When I asked them yesterday, they told me that uh, it's their last day. But unfortunately, today they start again. So I couldn't wait for it. They start, ooh, ooh, this is, this is very bright. This is 200 watt. Can be a good option to replace your strobe light. So this light is also good for uh, taking photos, for photography and also video. Let me put this here. So this light is called GVM and the model is, it's called GVM SD200D. It's 200 watt uh, light. This can be a good option both for photo and video. Uh, mostly I was using strobe light in my studio for product photography. I'm thinking to replace it with this light because it's good to have a, a continuous strong light for taking both photo and video. And it's included with a tripod. Let's see how is the tripod. Okay, this is uh, a different type of tripod. Okay, it's re reverse tripod. Yeah, this tripod is strong and I noticed something um, the tripods I or light stand which uh, GVM is making they are much better than other tripod or light stand because I have uh, another uh, light stand from GVM from their LED light and I really like the light stand and this one is also obviously they are not strong like this Monfoto and other light but they are much better than other uh, companies who are uh, providing light stand along with their light, uh, giving you free light stand. So these are much stronger. And this one is really strong. I can definitely use this one. This is a light modifier from Ambitful. And thanks to guys on Ambitful for sending me this product. Right now I'm using a bit full FL80 and I already make a video on it. If you didn't watch it, I will uh, recommend you guys watch the review of a bit full FL80. I will put the link somewhere here or this side so you can see the full video. And this one is also from a bit full. It's modifier. A small uh, user manual. This product is called Embedful AL16. The modifier itself. This is Gobo holder. What's here? Okay, there are lots of different Gobos. These are uh, different shapes that you can use with uh, your light modifier. Color filters, if you don't have RGB light, so you can use these. I will make a full review about this product because I really love this. But uh, let me show you guys what it's doing. It has uh, lots of uh, different uh, shapes. And even you can make your own shapes or you can buy your own shape. There are lots of websites they are making gobos. Um, just send them their, your artwork and they will uh, make gobos for you. And it has an option to change the focus. You can use this light modifier uh, for videos, for a shoot, photo shoot, and lots of different um, creative ways. 
So I will make a full review of this product and will show you guys some tips and tricks how to use this. Very long. This is JVM camera slider. It's more price slider. This is uh, the second generation right now. I have one which I'm using right now. This one is also more trice camera slider with a camera panning option, but the panning is not more trice. I make a review of this uh, in this channel. If you want to see, just click somewhere here. You can see. But this one is the second generation, the new one. This is fully more trice. It's sliding left and right and also changing the camera angle like it's making the panning a normal bag nothing very special okay yeah this is nice believe me guys it, there's much difference between this slider and that slider the quality the build quality is entirely different i was uh, expecting the same thing with some different uh, functionality but this one feel and look premium yeah, much, uh, there are much lots of changes they make uh, the rods are very thicker and a little glossy and overall the belt quality is metal and it feel very uh, premium quality I will make a full review about this slider uh, let me show you guys what's included with this slider here are two chargers with two batteries and two cables and also bunch of cable for your shutter release so they cover all the cameras and there's a ball head it has very nice uh, feet now this you don't see the strut anymore because this rod, the rod which they had in uh, the previous uh, model, the one which I'm right now using, the panning of uh, camera was not very precise and was not very accurate. But I hope this one will be much better. I will make a full review of this uh, slider. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification in order to be notified on my upcoming videos and uh, some of the product which I will review and also I will review some of these products which I opened today if you have any question regarding these products write in the comments below I will try to answer your question but if you're considering buying one then I will try to find all the links and put uh, their links on description of this video so you will be uh, able to buy it anyways guys I hope you like this video uh, since this was my first unboxing video and I didn't have any unboxing experience I hope you like it and I will try to do these kind of videos uh, more and stay safe wish you guys a nice day or night if it's night here it's day wish you guys really nice and healthy days and nights